Hey guys, Brian here from Five to Go, and uh, this is not Aaron, in case you couldn't tell. Hi, uh, this Aaron. is one of our roadrunners. His name is Ben. He's visiting from Colorado, and uh, we are standing in front of his rig. It is a 2021 Grand Design 2800 BH, right? Correct. Correct. All right, so it's one of those. It is a very popular little model. Um, they are very easily towable. He's got a half ton truck here. They're great with half tons, not a problem. You've got the equalizer yep. of some flavor on there. Yep. Um, so it's a great little rig, plenty of space on the inside. But what we're here to talk about today is all the modifications that this crazy man has done to his RV. He has done some awesome stuff. He was showing it off to us uh, when he got here about a week and a half ago. And I was like, I have to get this on camera. So we're gonna start up front up here in the storage base and see what he's done with storage. And then we're gonna work our way through the rig. So what'd you do up here? I built a custom slide out tray. You probably have seen the the ones that I want to say Lippert makes or no more ride I think is. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. They, that's a common thing with the really <laughs> big class A's and mm -hmm. some of the more expensive fifth wheels, yeah. right? They have like a pull out storage tray. Right. So you took inspiration from that and built your own, right? Yeah. Uh, noise oh. warning, by the way. Oh, yes. you got, you did do RV locks. I did do RV locks. Yeah, so he's got um, the RV locks on, there's actually two doors on the 2800. So he's got an RV lock on both doors and, and the both, both cargo doors. doors, right? Yep. yep. RV locks are awesome. I miss having an RV lock because yep. they don't sell them for motorhomes. Kind of sucks. It's a shame. Okay, so closed up can see so you had to build this frame up yep is so this the original floor oh i can the feel the vinyl floors underneath yep okay so that's the vinyl the original floor there you do lose uh, your storage back here yeah and you lose storage back here yeah so there's I mean, a little can... bit of a little bit of gap oh and one thing real quick he's been using these broom like a you use put these yeah. in like some of the garage section right yeah, for hanging holders. up broom holders or broom handles yeah i love these so he's got a flashlight here and we'll see some more on the other side all right um, so uh yeah. let's uh let's mute it for a second and then pull that sucker out okay. <laughs> oh that was loud <laughs> yeah this was two sheets of plywood okay that's it the entire thing was yeah. just two sheets yeah so it's, yeah. so it's one sheet on the bottom yep and it's five eighths inch there's the bottom side. All right, very, very basic, that works. Yeah. Doesn't have to be complex. <laughs> so these totes are from Ikea. Yes, they are. Right, so you've got two, four, six, you've got 12, space for 12. Space for 12, I have to And they all have lids, so I'm just gonna yeah. look at all your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got labels that's on where some. All the blocks go, that's where all the I did like, um, you used just blue tape here to denote water stuff, yep. and then orange for sewer, I like yep. that. So just at a glance, because little la labels are great, colors even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a great, great solution. So it's very much a custom job. <laughs> and I would love to say that I planned this to a T yep. and that these containers, I measured everything perfectly. Uh -huh. It's just a happy accident that really? they fit the way they are. Holy, are you serious? Yeah, so when, that I, was, is when like, I was at the are, store, I had perfect. measured I had measured the width and everything. And I was, yeah. I was measuring. And then when I was measuring at the store, I measured the, 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 top. the tops and mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh, it's close, but I think it's a little bit over. Oh, what the heck? I'll go buy them anyway. Yep. And we did, because I figured we could use them anywhere. Right. Even if they didn't work out. And hey, look, they're tapered. Yeah. Yeah. So they fit perfectly. They're a little skinnier at the bottom. You can see they kind of come yep. in. Yeah, and that's that's amazing. They fit too high and you should have kept that little bit secret. Because I just thought you were a mad genius and you you had measured these and figured out how to put it all together. Do you want me to edit that out? <laughs> sure, edit that out if you want. Yeah, yeah. And then you have something up here too. Yes. What is that? So this is actually a custom um, mount for those tables right over there. Okay, so those two folding tables. Yep. So okay. So they fold up, they slide into there, and then there's some bungee cords here and some oh, okay. hooks. Okay. And those will hook around the legs. Got gotcha. you. And that, did and you that, put that together? Yes, I did put that okay. together. Nice. Um, and that keeps the tables floating up above all of this. So yeah. if I don't need the tables, you can still access all of this. I can still this. access all this and yep. I don't have to worry about, oh, let's pull this out, pull this out. Because that awesome. was the biggest thing I had about this was, uh -huh. okay, great. Yep. Well, I need to get access to this one container. The stuff in the back, yeah. And it's always, yep. you're pulling everything out and it's always when you're setting up. Easy, quick, rapid access to everything. Exactly. I love it. I love yep. it. Oh, and then a little nice little secret here maybe the camera will get better oh, yeah? here you can still put some stuff underneath the tray that you don't need to access very often so okay. i put some of the extra stuff you know 
Yeah, okay. Things you don't use very so often. So to get to that, you would just have to pull this You have this to pull this out, out and then you access yeah. from the other side. Yeah, okay. So speaking of the other side, yeah. let's, uh, let's go see the other side. Okay, real quick, before we head over to the other side, there are some very lovely people that are sitting outside and talking and having a good time. We don't want to interrupt them, but we are going to film on that side. So it might be a little bit noisy, but we'll, we'll try and talk loud enough so you guys can hear us. All right, so over here, up on the nose, you went with two golf cart batteries. Correct. Well, which we did the same thing on the 312, because the 12 volt RV slash marine batteries are garbage. Yes, they are. Uh, so you've got two six volt batteries here. Yes. And you also attached, this is the charge controller. No, so this is actually a battery monitor. That's a battery monitor, okay. And that's the shunt for said battery monitor. Okay, nice. Um, this is, I went overkill on the shunt. Okay. Because I know that I'll reuse this. Right and this like with the power that's here yep i could have easily used the internal shunt okay that's in this but i got a better one because when i go lithium okay and then in the future you could do four batteries or six, four, or, six or yeah, eight, yeah okay so so we got the two six volt batteries here yep. all the stuff built in up here mm -hmm. and then that's all bluetooth controls yes right this has an app that i can just access from my phone and which system is this uh it's the thorn wave thorn wave yes. okay I'll put links to that down below. Yep. Okay, and also up here, you installed a gas stop, right? Yes, I did. So I actually, one for each tank, because that's how okay. you gotta do it. That's this. That is this, this little unit, unit right, right here. here? Yep. Okay, so what does that do? So if there is a leak or a large amount of gas escaping from said pressurized lines, yeah. it will shut off the gas. So it's looking for a discharge that's more than should happen. Correct. And it just has something inside that yep. stops it. Yep, and it yeah. just, it'll shut it off and you can reset it by pressing it. Oh, that's it. Yep. Would you do that again? Yes. Oh, okay, yep. cool. And also here you have the Mopeka uh, tank, tank level sensors? Tank check okay. sensors. Yeah. So there's little devices that show that's this tank. Right, so there's a little device that goes on the bottom of the tank, and he's got a, a rubber standoff to give room for that. And it's a sen sensor that somehow tells you how much gas is in the tank. Yep. So that is super handy. Yes. Very cool. This is what the back side of the RV lock looks like. Maybe, I've never seen one. Maybe not sure that part of it. Why? With the rusted screws and everything. Oh, well, they come with those screws. They do. They don't come with really good screws. They don't come with really good yeah, screws. I'm not, I, we show it like it is. Fair enough. They came with crappy screws. They did come with very <laughs> crappy screws. Yeah, there you go. RV Lock, I, if you're watching this, send better screws. Yeah. They're cheap. They really are. Yeah, come better on, screws are cheap. Yeah. All right. So in here, um, not as not as groundbreaking as the, uh, the pull-out storage, but he did PVC pipes. Those are what, uh, three inch? I think uh, four, actually. Three or four inch PVC pipes, yep. and you just routed out like a little notch. Yep. So those could slide in. And, yep. uh I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw those, I fell in love. And then I was like, hey, you could just use one tube for multiple tools. I probably could have, yes. Yeah, you could just do a long channel. There's a good view of it. And the reason it's so long is because you- To I'm get rail to rail, yeah, right? Yeah, rail to rail, because I'm yeah. screwed into the yep. metal channel. And then another uh, clever storage thing up here was the uh, clamps up here, rail clamps. You yep. just clamp them up on the rail, get them out of the way. Those yep. are very handy for projects. Oh, yes. And then another set of the, these are the command style yes. of the uh, little like, broom handle things. This is his breaker bar. Yep. And it's a collapsible breaker bar. That's it husky, is. right? Uh, yes, so husky. what else you got going in here? Uh, oh, we've got the, the wireless uh, yes. uh, control for the cap lights, which are right there. Yep. Because the switch that was there. Yeah, you had to come all the way out here. Yeah, you had to come out here. <laughs> what, what, you either never use it. Or you because, forget. Or you forget and you yeah. leave these very, very bright and incredibly intrusive lights on, yeah. uh, which is not cool. Yeah, so um, that, so that's just a little, you just tapped into the wiring yeah, I and it has a- the switch off. And the reason there's so many wires there is because they connected several wires together behind that switch. Okay. So I think these lights in the in here are also tied to that right. as well. Okay. So they're kind of a downstream thing. Yep. Um, and then the remote on the inside is, it's obviously it, wireless. It came with two remotes. Um, they pair, I think you can pair multiple remotes. I have, because it came with two, I put one in the truck and I put one by the front door. Oh, neat. So, so if you roll in at dark, you can yep. turn it off from the truck and off you go. Yep. Very cool. Exactly. All right, so uh, let's go around to the rear because there's something cool on the bumper I wanted to show. Oh, Yes. we did also forget, yep. like, because we have the torque wrench. Yeah. We also have, oh, 
the bits. The bits for That's the torque right. wrench. That's right. Look at this. Mounted up here. I this. love it so much. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, so you can just reach up there out of the way. Yep. You can just reach up and just pop one off. Yep. Off you and go. And they stay during travel, which yeah. is the best part. Yeah, awesome. Love it. Yeah. Coming around to the back, you added some brackets. Yes. What are these? There's a URL on them. Yep. So these are struts that will increase the weight bearing load of the bumper. Right. Yeah. Because I have definitely seen people put like bike racks that clamp onto these and all that. And I've seen these bumpers just They're, shear you off. You should not do that. Yeah. You should not so do that, that without the struts. So that increases the strength. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then you've got mag caps as well. Yes. That's and another this, cool thing I've seen. Yeah. This is not the as cool side because Right, Obviously there's no hose attached set up, to it. But it's a magnetic cap and you can attach your hose to the inside and then slide it in. And you had to move your tire because you added a poop tote. Yes, a poop tote. <laughs> I was going to use the more vulgar word, but this is a family channel. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's why you added those extra brackets, right? Because the tire is right. pretty heavy. That thing definitely adds a little bit of weight. Right. And the tire and the whole wheel, yes. But yeah. that came on the rig. So right. we know that that's... Okay. Maybe within limits. <laughs> well, hopefully. It's only about 45 pounds, if I recall, yeah. from the spec. But, but when you're going down the road, it's everything bouncing. Everything is more. Yep. Everything is more, you yep. know, so better safe than sorry. Yeah. It didn't take that. Honestly, it took longer to put this on than I thought, and took less time to put those on than I thought. Right. Oh, and those are just <clears throat> bolted. They are yeah, They're bolted into the frame. Yeah, they're bolted into the frame, and then they just kind of hook and give it a little extra rotational strength okay and then back here you did something really cool you have the same black stone that i have now the 22 inch um and you had a little pull out burner kitchen thing right yeah. is that what these come with yes and you took that out i took that out and i made storage for the black stone yep so the whole black stone so i've got this i'm not going to show it because i it wasn't clean last time i looked yeah did you clean it no Okay, we're gonna leave it closed. So it's got the hood here, um, and you added these little PVC uh, couplers, you said they were? Yep. Or reducers or something. So yeah. these fit these legs perfectly. Yep. And then, can you pop that out of there? Mm -hmm. And then where you took out, this was the original the grill, was here. Uh, the, yep. the grill. So it was like a two burner with the little quick connect hose underneath. Yep. Right. So you took that out and you put, this like that. Uh, closet made yep. like shelving stuff yep. right yeah and then you just store the hoses and all that underneath and it just makes a nice little bin to yeah store the hoses. very cool but you can't use the blackstone here because no. it, it, the lid, the lid open opens all up the way, plus that's a lot really of heat don't want to yeah yeah and then and then there was a shelf yes, here there so a there's a stock shelf that sits probably right there yep and then so you took that out yep, so that's so that uh, there's plenty of height there that's an awesome awesome location for that right and it's great this just goes in see yeah. how accurate you are <laughs> <laughs> not bad not decidedly bad. less accurate because i'm on camera <laughs> all righty and you can close and open it with the blackstone's handle which yep. is even nicer yeah and you also you have ring stuff everywhere correct so that's just a open sensor yep right a, or a what are they called? Contact sensor. Contact sensor. There you go. So you got those on your bays, and that's just an extra layer of security, which is nice. And then pro tip: if you guys, these things open all the time during yes, transit. Yes, they do. So go get a child lock, child lock, <laughs> baby strap. You know, all you need to do is that. Yep. It ain't going anywhere. Yep. We did the same thing on the 312. It's fantastic. Yep. Okay. Now we're gonna head in. We have to ask permission. Can we come in, Clyde? Huh? And Bonnie is Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Ben's very adorable puppers. Hi. Yeah. Yep. I gotta get in somehow. Okay. Come on, <laughs> just push through. Alrighty. So what are we doing in here? We need light. Uh. Yeah. Hey. There's more light. There you go. That's so the that's light. the stock control panel, right? Yes, it is. So the new ones, they come. This is actually a Bluetooth compatible yep. Compass Connect system, so everything's on your phone. It's yep. Neat. I can access it all. Very on my cool. Phone, which is cool. It's funny. So there's systems like this in you know a relatively entry level rv and then we saw big expensive class a's with no apps no right. nothing right. <laughs> yeah we always wonder if, we wonder if it's the clientele you know it could be yeah. could be yeah all right so over here ring control panel yep so that's for the sensors on the doors yep uh and then more wireless stuff for the rv lock yep so this remote will can do all the all the locks at once yep we all know that sound yep 
And then this was for the this cap lights, right? This for the cap lights. Okay. Yep. So, so that's the, the other end of the receiver that's down in the front there. Yep. And then there was nothing in there. Uh, was this it? is where my fire extinguisher and ah. my PepWave internet router is. Yep. So a quick word about the PepWave stuff. And he has a very good internet setup because he does work when he's traveling in his RV. We're not getting into that in this video. If you want to see how his setup works, join us on Discord, 5 gocom slash Discord. He has all of his stuff listed out. He's very active on there. So if you want to know about internet and pep waves and all that sort of stuff, join us on Discord. Ben will hook you up, right? Yes, absolutely. All right. All right, we got some more light. So speaking of lights, you have Philips yes. something? The Philips Hue light strips are up here. Okay. Um, they I don't know if we can, I don't okay. know if the camera will Might. see them. Oh yeah, sort of. No. Okay. Yep. No. So you got them the whole length of the slide. Yep. That's cool. And their color control, you can do anything yeah, with those, I do right? all the colors. Uh, sometimes the stuff up here is a little too harsh. So yeah. So it's nice at night to not have yeah. to Not have the, that. yeah, these. And you replace these too, the little puck yes. lights. Yep. So you can show they actually have a silver. Yeah. So those are not the stock ones, but those, those just pop right out and you just pop new ones in, right? Correct. Yep, so that's just the Hue app. Yep. Very cool. So you've got those in here, and you also have them. I can see them above the bed in there. Yep. Yeah, those are cool. I might uh, might have to investigate that because we enjoyed having the Christmas lights up because we like that light right. up there, not the overhead light. So right. that's exactly. one option. All right, um, and that's a baby monitor. This is a Nanit baby monitor. Yep. yep. Because they do um, have a two and a half month old. Yep. Three month coming up on three. Coming up on three. Uh, so you've got all of the stock. Um, Wiring and panels and all that stuff's down here, and you have added a lot of things down here. Yes, I have. We get the oh yeah, the, the kid lock. The kid lock <laughs> because children down here. Yeah, um, that's one thing we don't like when we look at rigs is yes. all the stuff down low. So yeah, another yeah. proximity sensor with the ring. Yep. And at least Grand Design has done something nice and put this behind a cabinet. Yeah. Place. Instead of just exposed. Uh, it's not locked, but it's easy enough to lock. To if put you a lock to. on it. Yeah. So I see the charge panel or the, the battery panel. Yep, this is was my first attempt at a battery monitor. It wasn't very good, frankly. Um, so I use it just to tell me how much power my sub panel is okay uh, is taking. So so you built your own kind of extension panel. Yep. For the 12 volt system. Yes, for the 12 volt system. There just okay. there wasn't enough. There was some in here, but there wasn't enough wiring. Okay. Uh, available. So we did that for the alarm system is directly now connected to the battery instead of AC power. Got it. Uh, so it's on all the time, it's on the house batteries. Yep. And, and that's what I did is I here. wired it in here with all of these uh, little adapters or converters here. They actually take a, a wide range of voltages, but in this case, the, the 12 volt battery. And I think in every case here, we're stepping it down to basically USB, which is five volts. Okay. Um, so cool. that's providing power, full-time power to the panel, to the alarm system, uh, to my Level Mate Pro. Right. Um, charges that iPad that doesn't get as much use as I hoped it would. And then that was a Bulldog something yes, in this there. Is the, yes, this is the um, Hughes Auto former Bulldog. Oh, it's, yeah. It's the, it's the inline the surge protector. The built-in surge protector. Right. Yeah, and Got it is Bluetooth as well. Yep. Uh, in case um, you're wondering, uh, there was a drawer there. He just popped it out. It has baby stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, so there was a drawer there so you can we could see what's going on in there. Yep. All right. um, and then this here is the RV Whisper, which is RV Whisper. It is a small little computer. Um, it's a nice little platform. What it actually does is it takes all these discrete uh, sensors, like mm -hmm. the propane Bluetooth sensor, the Bluetooth off of the, the surge protector, um, and uh, it has its own temperature sensors, and it connects to the battery monitor as well. Wow. So all of that all of those local Bluetooth devices uh -huh. um, are now available on the internet for me Wow! through their app. If we're away for the day and the dogs are here yeah. and the power goes out, we'll know the temperature sensor and will go off. And the temperature off. sensor is going to go off. We'll know it's going to get too hot. We got to get back. Right. That's awesome. So you're not going to endanger the dogs. Yeah. Very cool. So back here in the stock 2800, there's actually like a full width bed sort of with the corner yes. cut out. Mm -hmm. What did you do back here? So very similar to this bed, there's one here. Um, it also would fold up to allow you to like store bicycles or something here during travel day. Okay. Um, what we did is we 
took that out entirely. Okay. Um, I um, built a rail here, uh, and then we got custom mattress nice. for this area here. Nice. For the two-year-old. Yeah. And, and that gives you a place for a little dresser and okay. Um, and then you left the top. Uh, you just added a bar there for the yeah, storage. Yeah, took bins. the mattress off yep. and added the and added the bar to keep these containers. From so did you leave the ladder here just as an extra like rollout barrier? Or? Um, we left the ladder there so that he can get in and out of the bed. Oh, so he just climbs up yeah, through here he and up in ducks here. through. Yep. All right, and to finish things up, we've got the kitchen. So the yes. stock kitchen does not have a dishwasher. No, no. So it you added one. I've never seen this thing. What is yes. that? So uh, you know, we looked on Amazon. We found it was, this thing had like five stars. Yeah. You know? I mean, like very few things truly have yeah. just tons and tons and piles and tons of really good reviews. Yep. And this one did, and I would agree. It's a nice little dishwasher. It opens up. Let me show your dishes. Yep. They appear to be clean. They appear to be clean. <laughs> yeah, it did just run. So it's pretty tight in there. Yeah, they say it can hold a place setting, place settings for four, and it has a little diagram here on the top of, you know, how to load it. But okay, you know, it so does is, it does a great job. Um, what's the brand on this thing? It's a Novet. Novet. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll track down the links and we'll put them in the description down below. Yep. So this just plugs into a normal outlet. <laughs> plugs into a normal outlet. And then you can fill it with water. Up right, top. right. Okay, so you can manually fill it with water, yep. or you can plumb it in. Or you can plumb it in. Okay. Um, they make. And then if it you don't have a, if you don't, if you have a more conventional faucet mm -hmm. that has the aerator that unscrews, yeah. oh, you, really? it actually comes with a hose that will screw onto the where the aerator is. Really. And in so, so when like, you want to run it you just turn mode. it on yeah turn it on that is cool easy mode. that's a really clever use uh, of that little aerator thread yes and then the um, drain hose and then the drain hose you just, just lay the drain just, hose in the sink yeah yeah that's pretty sweet and then you had to modify in order to carry this thing around safely right i had to modify this cabinet it was a shelf down here okay and uh just to keep some you know strength in this cabinet i moved kept the, the bar, bar and okay. i took the shelf out yep and the dishwasher slides in here, Keurig slides over here, made yep. a little rail there, and right now the dog food's hiding there. Okay, and then on moving days you just pull the dog on, food out. And... Yeah, on moving days the dog food sits under the uh, bassinet right yep. here and it all perfect works great. Awesome. And then you also added Ikea rails. Aaron and I were just yes. at Ikea earlier. Uh, we love these little rail systems. We haven't found a good spot for them in our rig yet. But you've got them here and you've got them next to the bed. The bed was definitely yeah. the, um, the, That's a nice... the master stroke, as it were. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> these things are great. You know, put your wallet, your keys, yeah. a bottle of water in the middle of the night. Super handy. And you yeah. even, yours even, the 2800 has the cut throughs. Yes. So like if I was here, my CPAP would be in there because <laughs> there's power in there. Right. Uh, but this adds a nice little way to have storage without kind of getting blocked by pillows and mattress and stuff exactly uh, and then also in here to round out the tour we've got the dyson yes nice nice little mounting job here and then he just routed the power wire for the charging base up and around by the tv right yep i used the same outlet for the yeah. television awesome and then yeah on the lights here we just added a, a little l bracket oh that's right you added this piece of wood yep so same you did... wood i used as the right for the railing yeah and then so the... that's not stock so nope. the original stopped here yep and you added that so you could get the lights up under there yes without you know killing yourself yeah. laying down on the bed because right just they blinding you blinding. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're definitely bright yeah they are yeah. awesome oh i added a dimmer too oh that's right one. that's right yes so oh, uh, that's, i can't see it now <laughs> yeah you can't see it <laughs> very cool all righty so that is ben's very modified imagine 2800 bh yes, very cool right. thank you for the tour Bradley. Yes. It's, so it's, if you have any questions, again, join us on Discord, 5 togocom slash Discord. Ben's in there all the time. He's happy to talk about any of the mods. I'm going to list as much of the stuff down below as I can. Um, I'm definitely going to need his help with all of that because it's a pretty long list. Yes. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.